here with the I Heart Spring Tag. Uh, this was started by Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi. I have done like the I Heart Fall, I Heart Winter Tag maybe. Um, I've done a few of them. So when I saw the I Heart Spring Tag, I was really excited to do this one. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because I'm sure I'll blab on throughout the video. First question is favorite spring nail polish. And I have quite a few. Uh, the first is definitely what I'm wearing on my nails right now, which is called Cascade Cool from Essie. And it's a really fun, like a bubblegum, blue-toned pink. I really love it. I also really like these kind of soft, um, corally peach shades. This one is Essie's Accrued Interest. And this is Julie G's 9 to 5, which is a little bit more of a neon shade. But both are super pretty and look gorgeous on your toes, on your nails. I just absolutely love these. I have a darker mm -hmm. coral shade. I absolutely love these ones. This one's Essie's Tarte Deco, and this one's a little bit more of a pinky coral, and it's Julie G's Bikini, which looks so good on the nails and on the toes. It's a very fun neon color. As you can see, Tarte Deco is a little bit more peachy orange, and this one is a little bit more pinky coral. So they're both really, really fun, and I love wearing these in the spring and in the summer, but I do wear them in the spring. I also like lilac-y shades too, but I forgot to grab those. The other last two are um, Essie's Lights, which is a bright neon pink. I have this on my toes right now, I love it. And this is a new one from L'Oreal called New Money, and it's a really fun kind of like, I don't know, lime green. I almost wanna say it's a grass green, but it's a little bit more neon. But um, Essie's Lights and New Money from L'Oreal. Also any lilac lavender color I love too. Uh, question number two, what is your must have lip color this spring? I am obsessed with color in general, so to pick one is like impossible. One is like the kind of pinky color I have on my lips today, which is a combination of these two um, lip stains. Um, I actually saw uh, Nicole Gerraro use these two colors in particular in her recent video and I never thought to combine the two. And it's mixing the Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in Cherish Devotion and Darling Cherie. And um, one is a really pretty pink and it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. And the other is a nice lilac. So mixing those two, that's Cherish Devotion and that one is Darling Cherie. Um, mixing the two is really fun on the lips. Like I said, it's what I'm wearing today and it's like the perfect spring pastel lip, which is really fun. I also like, here are two from the Maybelline Vivid collection. One is in Shocking Coral and it's a beautiful bright coral color. And I'll swatch it for you here. Just a really gorgeous coral. I like that it's not too orange or too yellow based. So you could definitely wear it and it's not going to make your teeth look super yellow or um, you know take away from all the whitening that you've been doing. The other one is Electric Fuchsia, which is a really pretty bright fuchsia color. I like any bright fuchsia. I also really love Hot Plum too, which is a little bit more of a purple. It's called um, Geradium and it's from Lime Crime. And it's kind of a peachy coral shade. And I love it. It's like a really nice pinky peach. These stain on your lips like crazy. I mentioned a few lip glosses too. Of course, they're all in the pink shades. This first one is from Maybelline and it is their um, Electric Shock. It's a gorgeous pink. Um, this one is from Urban Decay. It's one of their Lip, junk lip Junkies and Crush. And it's a little bit more sheer, but it looks so pretty on the lips. Just makes your lips look really full and juicy. And then this one's by Revlon and it's in Atomic Pink, which is another nice pink. I love these pinks for the springtime. Also, if you have a coral lip that's maybe a little bit too like yellow pink, you can kind of tone it down with some of these more blue tone pinks. So those are some lip combos I will love this springtime. Three, show us your favorite springtime dress. I live in dresses in the spring and I can't just pick one, so I'll just pick like a certain style. Like I love these little sun dresses. I have quite a few that I got from Target. This one is from Target. It's like nautical stripes on the top and then it's floral down along the bottom. And they had a bunch of different ones that were like this in all different prints and patterns. So I love any kind of sun dress. I don't think I could just pick just one, but uh, I just really love these like little fun sun dresses. What's your favorite flower? Um, I would have to say my favorite flower is probably Gerber daisies. They were the flowers that I had in my wedding. Um, I will try to insert a picture somewhere around here, um, but preferably the pink ones with the black centers because that's what I had in my wedding. And June was June is when we got married, so I guess that's more kind of summer. But still, I love, love, love Gerber daisies. 
and tulips are very pretty too. So, um, but yeah, definitely Gerber daisies. What is your favorite spring scarf or accessory? Um, my favorite accessory, I have quite a few scarves that I like. There's not one that I can really pinpoint, but for, um, I love big sunglasses, which I forgot to grab a pair, but any big gigantic sunglasses or fedoras. I love, love, love fedoras in the springtime. I think they look so cute with just like a casual shirt and some shorts. Uh, they're perfect for if, depending on where you live, um, if it's hot enough for you to wear with your bikini. Um, I just really, really love fedoras. So that would probably be my favorite spring accessory. Big glasses and fedoras. Six, what spring trend are you most excited about this year? Makeup, fashion, or both? Uh, I love the bright pops of color on your lips. I'm very into bright pink lips, colorful lips, so I really love that. I love pastels, so I love seeing all the pastels. Um, I love that coral and mint is back in. Coral and mint stuff last year, and I was so scared like if coral and mint were gonna be like the hideous colors of the spring summer, but they're back in, which makes me very excited because I could use some of the spring corally and minty colors that I got last year. Um, I love floral trend. Um, I really, really love the denim and floral trend that has come out. Um, just denim everywhere, I really, really like that. So, I don't know, I just really love just the girly, feminine, stuff like floral denim um there's some neons that are super fun so i'm just really excited about all the spring trend oh and lace lace is really big with like all the high low dresses there's i got some cute ones that have lace as like the skirt part um lace on shorts high waisted denim shorts i mean there's so many fun things um i have some fashion video lookbooks that are going to be coming starting april 1st will be the first one um i'm really excited to get that up so i'm going to be working more on getting some lookbooks up with having like three different looks and then they'll most likely have some sort of theme um so i'm really excited about that so yeah there's all sorts of stuff i'm loving number seven favorite spring candle this one i got at Target a couple months ago and I love it. It sits up here on either side and it is the sweet sponge sugar soy candle. It smells just like cotton candy. I love it. I am not a floral scented person. I went to Bath and Body Works, did not find any candles I liked. Um, I like more of these summer ones that are more fruity and tropical, but I don't like floral scents, but I do love cotton candy. So this is like my spring Ah, scent. So I highly recommend getting, and it's a soy candle too, so I think those are better for you to burn. And it says it burns up to 50 hours, which is cool. All right, so then number eight, favorite spray or perfume. I have three that I love, they're all newer. The first one is my Nicki Minaj perfume, which I love. I'm actually gonna wear that today. It just smells so sweet and delicious. I love it, sweet, fruity, that's what I like. So I like the Nicki Minaj perfume. I got this for Christmas and I love it. It's Prada candy. It's a very, I would describe it as a fun, like it's a sweet and flirty scent, but it's like more of a sophisticated sweet flirty scent. So when you wanna be sophisticated and adult-like, but you wanna smell sweet and fruity, it'd be that one. Also love Viva La Juicy La Fleur, which I know it's like, has roses and stuff on it, but I don't get floral at, from it at all. At least not like traditional like powdery floral. So um, any of these three I really love. Um, this is a gigantic bottle. They only sell this huge one. So um, yeah, those were my three scents for the spring. Number nine, what is spring like where you live? Um, where I live in Northern California is, it could be anything. Um, spring could either be pouring rain the whole time. Uh, it could also be 80 degrees, which is what it's been. It's been in the 70s to 80s, and we've hardly had any rain in the fall, winter time, so, I mean, it could really be anything. And then towards the end of spring, beginning of summer, it could just start torrential downpour, even though it could also be 115 degrees. So, it's really unpredictable here where I live. Currently spring, is it, we're in spring, right? I think we're in spring. But currently where we're at, it's like 70s, 80s, so. It just really depends. It could switch on us at any moment. Number 10, what's your favorite thing about spring? My favorite thing about spring is it's right before the weather starts to get really, really hot, so I love being able to be outside. Um, now that Ethan is at an age where he can run and play, it's, I, we love taking him to the park. Our new thing is going on golf cart rides in the green belt and all the trails um, around our house. Going on vacation is always fun. 
I mean, there's all kinds of fun things about spring. I love Easter. I love to um, have, watch Ethan go on little Easter egg hunts. That's always fun. So there's just all kinds of fun things. I just, spring is just nice. Number 11, are you a spring cleaner? It really depends. I am like a cleaner in random spurts. I could go spans of just being messy and not really, not like really messy, I'm not like a hoarder, but um, just where I'm like, I'll pick up and then I can go through phases where I just get like neurotic and I just start cleaning out everything. Doesn't necessarily happen in the spring um, all the time, but I'm sure some point in the spring I'll go crazy. I'll reorganize our pantry, reorganize all the cupboards, um, reorganize all the rooms. I just go crazy. So um, it just kind of happens randomly throughout the year. Um, whether or not it will happen this spring, who knows. And last but not least, any plans for spring break or an upcoming vacation? Yes, um, April 4th through the 9th. I will be in New York City for LA, <laughs> not for LA IMATS, for New York IMATS. And uh, Benji and I are going and we're meeting up with my really, really good friend, Laura or Mrs. Lola Lynn and her husband, Daniel. So um, I'm really excited for all four of us to go to New York. In June, um, we're going on a cruise to Europe. So we're gonna be going to Sweden, Norway, and Amsterdam, and England. So that should be super fun, I'm really excited. So if any of you live over in Europe or have traveled to any of those places, let me know because I would love to know what we need to do. Some places I'm sure we're not gonna be able to stay very long, but um, we will, Benji and I are gonna stay in England for like two days, I think. So we're super, super excited. Um, that's all of our plans for the spring so far. Um, and then we have some other trips planned later on this year, but yeah, so this was a fun tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I tag all of you to do this video um, and leave it as a video response or just leave in the comments um, your responses to all the questions if you don't make videos. And I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!